One eternity later. Welcome back. Thank you, thank you for tuning in and being along for this ride and this journey. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell notification so you don't miss anything. Leave a comment and a thumbs up. Share the video with everybody. We, we got the, the dog, Rufio. Hey, are you excited? Oh, he's dead. He's excited. He died of excitement because we're back. Oh, man. But it's kind of a, uh, today's a bittersweet. The reasoning why is the wide body. So I know I had pretty much the wide body almost done. I was gonna do some finishing touches onto it for the mountings, pulled the car out, got the garage shut right now because they're mowing across the street and it's making way too much noise. Had everything laid out, forgot about it because I went inside and did something else, brought the car in, backed it in, ran it over. I ran over all that hard work i mean after after days of just being pissed off at myself figured i could salvage some of it but i'm gonna have to kind of rebuild a bunch of so that's what cardboard and all this metal is for be or the poster board and all that metal it's because i had to make templates again and having to cut things out again and yeah so just be like remember guys like just pay attention to what you're doing i mean this is just a minor accident with parts that i just kind of ran over be careful when you're working be careful we all make mistakes we all do things so yeah so we're just gonna cut some stuff out measure make templates get everything cut and start again so um let me show you a little bit of the uh, aftermath of running stuff over right that guy was supposed to be up there, but it kind of got a little, uh, a little deformed, like really big dents and just bends. And I'm not even wasting my time trying to fix that. I was able to salvage the front side of it and hammer it out and fix a couple of things. And yeah, so I'm just going to rework the top. Same thing for the rear. I was able to, um, salvage that's the the mess of everything that's right there but same thing with the rear i was able to salvage part of it i'm gonna have to rework a bunch of it but all in all it's 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 kind of cool because there was a few things i wanted to do different that i'm able to do on this one like instead of making a one piece for the mounting and welding everything i'm going to try to make or make two pieces one here and one here i'm gonna try to make that all in one piece this time see if that works out so it's less weld and less warping um yeah so as you can see i already started with the poster board getting things all cut up and got things taped on there and held on and all that so all that's still good i still kept the curve on that i was able to hammer and dolly that out but I can you see I have like a little bit of a bend right there. I still need to body work that out. But all in all, I think we should be able to salvage it. Not scrapping it. Never. This is like a project I've been working on and I want it and not scrapping it. Just delaying the process. So let's get to it. Let's do some measurements, cut, poster board, and put it all on the metal. Then go from there. And it's already hot. Look at that. Rufio, is it hot out here? Yeah. Oh my. He's like, yeah, it's hot. See, look at him. That's my boy. It's my garage guy. So he's good. Let's get that. Finishing up that. Let's see what we're working with. There we go. So we got, um, it's hot. Dude, I'm like, whoo, whoo, it's hot. So got everything mocked up, got uh, poster board. I had to use multiple pieces just to get the ride, which is cool because now I can transfer this whole thing onto the sheet metal over there to make that one piece. And then tack it all to piece, 
all together, test fit it. If everything's still good, fully weld it and we'll be ready. So the only thing I still have to kind of make is just this little piece right here that's gonna go. This will be the bumper piece, that's the fender piece. It will be two parts separate. So if you ever had to take a fender off, you don't have to take, or the bumper off, you don't have to take the fenders and all that. So yeah, a little quick release for the bumper be integrated in there and yeah so we still got this nice little bow right here like in the factory to where it comes out um we're like at three inches three and a quarter back here all together it's only pulling it out from the fender about an inch and three quarters it's not a very aggressive but once we do all of the arrow kit onto it the big wing, the new wheels, and finish bagging it by getting that front end lower and the splitter and the diffuser and all that. It's gonna look super aggressive and it's gonna be super cool. And eventually, whenever I find the transmission, we can start on the engine and doing the turbo. So not that it just looks fast and aggressive, it kind of will be fast and aggressive. I mean, I'm not looking for high horsepower numbers or anything like that. I'm only trying to get, you know, roughly about 350 to 400 wheel horsepower in a car that weighs 26 2800 pounds very fun just something fun but reliable so i mean i don't know if i showed you guys the turbo we, we are doing a 50 trim t3 t4 turbo onto it um ram manifolds 40 millimeter wastegate or 38 i can't remember which one it is but it's gonna look aggressive it's gonna be fast it's gonna be fun it's gonna be reliable and it's gonna be built by me the myth the legend rufio oh my god he look at him you were trying to sneak your way out getting your head up onto there he's just watching everything out there enjoying the day so that is i can't believe that it I, yeah it looks more mangled now since i had to cut it off but it just look look at that uh, we all do it we all mess up we all have to start over it's not starting over starting from from experience now actually so this is looking good uh that was horrible lesson learned looking good um i'm actually gonna stop for a minute go get some water because it is hot out here and i am just not feeling it right now then i'm going to transfer that into metal cut it out hopefully we're good hopefully so i'm thinking yeah i don't know so i'm, I'm like it i really i'm glad that we had that the other one was already done because i already had the design and the style in my mind able to salvage a lot of that so everything is good um still working on the little um new setup for the air ride manifold and all that still haven't decided what color um i did add these brackets right here add two more i'm actually going to set the manifold right there so it's all just right there in your face got the wing got the carbon fiber if you can see that working on a few other things so we got a lot of things going on we just don't have a lot of time um i can't wait though man can't wait so i appreciate you guys for all your support that you give me please continue watching continue you know making comments down below that are inspiring and encouraging i really appreciate that and it helps out a lot of other people share this with your friends your family your stranger share it with the person sitting across from you at work when you're supposed to be working you're really watching my videos so i appreciate that but remember subscribe hit that bell notification you don't want to miss anything leave a comment thumbs up share the video i appreciate you guys and from the bottom of my heart stay gold stay humble peace